The world of the Elder Scrolls is incredible. From the icy reaches of Skyrim to the Red Mountain of Morrowind, Tamriel is home to a plethora of wonders and breathtaking sights. So of course, ever since the last game in the series came out, people have been asking the all-important question, which part of Nurn will the Elder Scrolls 6 take place in? Well, unfortunately, I can't provide an exact answer to that, but what I can do is tell you which locations I think would make the best settings for the next Elder Scrolls installment. Which, in essence, is the very idea that gave birth to this series. To give you guys a short overview, this series is going to be a sequence of 5 separate videos in which I count down my top 5 locations for the Elder Scrolls 6, starting at number 5 in this video and ending at number 1. In each episode, I'm going to be discussing the upsides as well as the downsides of the province in question. Various criteria including geography, quest potential, creatures, lore, and miscellaneous categories will be used in ranking these locations. Moreover, while a lot of places in Nurn would make a phenomenal setting for the next Elder Scrolls game, unfortunately there are quite a few barriers that make a couple of these locations rather unlikely. So, in addition to discussing the upsides and downsides, I'm also going to be giving my thoughts on the chances that each location will actually happen for the Elder Scrolls 6. But I'd say that's just enough talk regarding the motivation for this series, so without further ado, let's move on to the main event. Number 5, Hammerfell. There's no doubt in my mind that Hammerfell would make a phenomenal setting for the next Elder Scrolls game, which is exactly why it's on this countdown. Let's go ahead and start with a discussion of Hammerfell's geography. Now, Hammerfell appeared in the Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall, but it was far from fully explored in that game. So one of the upsides of Hammerfell is that it would be mostly new territory for us to explore, which is undoubtedly a plus. Additionally, an incredibly common misconception is that Hammerfell is nothing more than barren desert. I'll tell you guys right now that this idea is for the most part false. Specifically, Hammerfell can be split up into four major regions. The first of these regions is Bonkarai, which has a desert-like environment, but is still quite rocky and full of interesting features. I'll flash a picture up on screen, and you guys will know what I mean in an instant. Moreover, Bonkarai is home to tons of really cool Dwemer and Iliad ruins, which I'll revisit later in the video. Next up, we have Craglorn, which is located in northeast Hammerfell. The southern part of Craglorn consists mainly of dry wastelands and is not incredibly interesting. However, the northern part, known as Upper Craglorn, is rugged and mountainous, very similar to the Reach, which as many of you probably know is a location in southwest Skyrim. The contrast in environment here and the possible presence of Dwemer ruins makes an absolutely phenomenal argument for Hammerfell being the setting of ES6. Third up, we have Kefrem, which is a coastal region of Hammerfell. Not too much is known about this area, besides the fact that it's home to a combination of fertile grasslands and desert-like areas. Here's a fairly accurate picture of Kefrem's environment, taken from concept art for the Elder Scrolls Online. Lastly, we of course have the Alakir Desert, an incredibly large region which forms the heart of Hammerfell. Now, don't mistake the Alakir for a normal desert, because quite frankly, it's not. There's definitely something magical about the Alikir, as the desert sands seem to be constantly shifting, and oftentimes an enormous red mist rises up in the air. The desert is almost like a living creature in and of itself. This, combined with the creatures of the desert, would make for an insane survival experience in The Elder Scrolls 6. We as fans have been asking Bethesda for more challenges in The Elder Scrolls for a very long time, and if you ask me, the Alikir desert is a perfect opportunity for this. Having to venture into this vast wasteland would be a monumental test of survival and an incredibly enjoyable challenge. So, in sum, the Alakir Desert isn't just some boring, barren, normal desert. Rather, it's a very interesting place full of unique locations and fantastical creatures. One more location that's worthy of mention is the tropical island of Stros Makai, which technically isn't a major region, but still has some pretty cool stuff. This small island is a haven for piracy and would make for a pretty awesome experience, perhaps as part of a DLC. Finally, one great argument for Hammerfell as the setting for ES6 is the fact that its geography is so different from Skyrim's. Skyrim was full of snow-capped mountains and cold weather, whereas Hammerfell is full of hot deserts and tropical environments. 
This could make for a phenomenal contrast with the previous installment in the series, and for that reason Hammerfell is a great choice for the location of the Elder Scrolls 6. So to sum things up, the geography of Hammerfell isn't quite as boring as many claim, and has more than a few upsides that would make it a great setting. Moving on, let's go ahead and talk about a potential plot point for The Elder Scrolls 6 where it's set in Hammerfell. First, consider the fact that Hammerfell and the Old Mary Dominion have a rather rocky relationship. After the Old Mary Dominion's war with the Empire, the White Gold Concordance surrendered a large portion of Hammerfell to the Dominion. However, Hammerfell absolutely refused to abide by these terms, which resulted in it seceding from the Empire and going to war against the Old Mary Dominion. Ultimately, Hammerfell fought the Dominion to a standstill, which resulted in it becoming its own independent nation. So, in a nutshell, Hammerfell hates the Old Mary Dominion and also dislikes the Empire very much for trying to give away some of its territory. Now, in Skyrim, there were tons of hints at a second Great War between the Old Mary Dominion and the Empire at some point. My claim is that this, combined with Hammerfell's unique political situation, makes it a great setting for the Elder Scrolls 6. And why is that, you ask? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the map here. At the very bottom in light green, we see the territories of the Almeria Dominion, and to the north we see the territories of the Empire in red. But what lies right in the middle of the Empire and the Almeria Dominion? You guessed it, Hammerfell. If a second Great War were to happen, Hammerfell who hates the Almeria Dominion for obvious reasons, and is furious with the Empire for giving away their territory, would be caught right in the middle of it. A great side plot for The Elder Scrolls 6 would be centered around Hammerfell and their involvement in a second Great War between the Empire and Almeria Dominion since the political situation in Hammerfell is so complex. Some have even gone so far as to say that Hammerfell would form an alliance with the Stormcloaks and while I personally think this is a jump in terms of geography and lore, it's still an interesting idea to consider. Moreover, I want to emphasize that this would likely be a side plot as opposed to part of the main storyline since in general the main stories of the Elder Scrolls games are centered around otherworldly strong enemies such as Dagoth Ur, Merun's Dagon, and Alduin. Hammerfell's potential involvement in the Second Great War could make for a side questline that is remotely analogous to the Civil War quest from Skyrim. Overall, these theories about Hammerfell do simplify some things, but the point is that Hammerfell is in a very unique political situation right now, which makes room for tons of interesting side plot points in The Elder Scrolls 6. Now let's move on to a slightly less complex topic, and that is the creatures of Hammerfell. Hammerfell is actually home to some incredibly unique and very cool enemies. In the Alikir Desert, you've got the dangerous Dune Ripper and the rather frightening Assassin Beetle. Bomkarai, on the other hand, is home to the giant wasp and amphibious beast folk known as Lamias. Finally, in Craglore, you can find great four-eyed beasts known as Welwa, as well as other similar creatures. The creatures of Hammerfell would not only be unique in themselves, but also would provide a great contrast to enemies like Ice Wraiths and Frost Trolls of Skyrim. Moreover, as I mentioned before, there are Dwemer ruins in Hammerfell, meaning we're most likely going to be able to fight Dwemer enemies like Dwarven Centurions and Spheres. Finally, and this is a bit of an outside shot, but there's a possibility that we'll get to fight one or two dragons if Elder Scrolls 6 were set in Hammerfell. For instance, consider the dragon Nafal Ilergis, who was featured in the spin-off game Elder Scrolls Adventures Redguard. He was killed by a non-dragonborn human known as Cyrus on the island of Stros Makai in Hammerfell, meaning it's entirely possible that he was resurrected by Alduin. Similar things could be said of other dragons lying dormant in Hammerfell if there are any more. Also, Skyrim does border Hammerfell, and there are still some dragons in Skyrim, so what's to stop a few of them from coming over? Look, there's no way dragons are going to play a central role in an Elder Scrolls game based in Hammerfell, but it's more than possible that we'll get to fight a few of them here and there. As such, the potential enemies in Hammerfell would make it a great setting for the next Elder Scrolls game. The next major topic in terms of upsides for Hammerfell pertains to Ruin Exploration. Now, long before the Red Guards came to Hammerfell, the region was actually home to the Dwemer and the Iliads. I'm sure all of you already know who the Dwemer are, and the Iliads are an ancient and powerful race of elves who in the first era established a massive empire that included most of Cyrodiil, as well as parts of Argonia, Valenwood, High Rock, and of course Hammerfell. 
Exploring Dwemer and alien ruins in Hammerfell would certainly make for a lot of fun in the Elder Scrolls 6, which is yet another reason why Hammerfell is a phenomenal location for this game. Finally, and this is one of the biggest arguments for Hammerfell, there aren't really any outstanding barriers preventing Hammerfell from being the location of the Elder Scrolls 6. With a place like Argonia, you've got a major barrier in the fact that it's filled with toxic gases. And with the Somerset Isles, you're faced with the dilemma of Thalmor racism. But Hammerfell doesn't really have any such issues, meaning Bethesda could have a game set in this province without really breaking any lore. For this reason, Hammerfell is actually one of, if not the most likely location for the Elder Scrolls 6. I personally think that there are slightly better options, but if I were ordering these by likelihood, Hammerfell would probably be in my top 3. Bending lore is something you never want to do in any sort of franchise, so the fact that the Elder Scrolls 6 Hammerfell can happen in a lore friendly way is a huge upside. So then why is Hammerfell last on this countdown? Well, the first reason is that despite my arguments earlier, there is some merit to the idea that Hammerfell is rather barren. Look, Hammerfell is going to be a bit featureless in some areas, no matter how you cut it. It would make for an interesting experience, no doubt, but there's no way it would be as breathtaking as Valenwood or as stunning as Skyrim. Oblivion is an amazing game, but Cyrodiil was rather bland at times as a setting, and I'm afraid that Hammerfell would suffer a similar fate if it were the setting for the Elder Scrolls 6. Pushing this notion further, while the environment of Hammerfell is for sure a great contrast with Skyrim's, I would still assert that there are other areas in Tamriel that are more unique. Fantasy games, movies, and books set in desert-like environments are things that have been done before, but a place like Argonia or Valenwood is in my eyes completely unique to the Elder Scrolls. Which makes me think that another setting for the Elder Scrolls 6 could potentially be a bit better. Also, there are some qualms I have with the culture of the Red Guards. As some of you may or may not know, the Red Guards are very warrior-centric people. The Red Guards as a whole are known to be great fighters and a very prideful race. So, while the environment of Hammerfell is vastly different from Skyrim, the Red Guards and the Nords are somewhat similar, at least in terms of disposition. Since, as I'm sure all of you know, the Nords of Skyrim have a very warrior-centric culture that emphasizes things like pride and independence. Many people have said that Hammerfell would just be a hotter version of Skyrim, which I actually disagree with for the most part, but a portion of that statement is true. The Argonians or Bosmer would provide a much better contrast to the people of Skyrim. Lastly, and perhaps most notably, Hammerfell would give Bethesda an excuse to dumb down magic yet again, which would be a massive downside. Consider the following quote from Trayvon the Redguard regarding magic in Hammerfell. They don't much like spellcasters because wizards steal souls and tamper with minds. If you use magic, you're weak or wicked. More specifically, Red Guards tend to have a problem with the schools of illusion, conjuration, and mysticism, meaning certain spells and entire schools of magic even could be rather difficult to practice in Hammerfell. Now, Skyrim's magic system and collection of spells was already significantly shallower than previous games, so what's scaring me is the prospect of Bethesda dumbing down magic even further. They already took out an entire school of magic and mysticism when developing Skyrim, and I definitely wouldn't want something like that to happen again. So, because Hammerfell as a setting could result in magic regressing even further, I have some doubts about it as a setting for Elder Scrolls 6. Overall though, I must admit, the upsides for Hammerfell vastly outweigh the downsides. The reason why Hammerfell is last on this countdown isn't at all because it's a poor choice, but rather because there are so many cool locations in Tamriel, it's a bit hard to choose. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that Hammerfell would make a phenomenal location for the next ES game, and as such, if the Elder Scrolls 6 were set in Hammerfell, I would still be pretty happy. So for all the reasons mentioned in this video, Hammerfell is number 5 on my list of potential locations for the Elder Scrolls 6. Well alright folks, that is pretty much going to do it for this video. As always if you enjoyed be sure to drop me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Elder Scrolls content in the future. Also be sure to let me know your thoughts on Hammerfell as a location for the Elder Scrolls 6. Do you like it, do you hate it, or do you absolutely love it? Otherwise, I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in the next episode of my top 5 potential locations for The Elder Scrolls 6.